welcome to my channel. If you've seen in some of my previous videos, I showed you how I was building a Chinese water dragon enclosure. I'll leave a link to those videos if you're curious, but I just wanted to do an update video. Now I know these videos have actually been about a year in the making. This enclosure has seriously been about two years in the making. It's just sat for a really long time and I didn't work on it for many months and then I'd work on it and then it would sit again but it's finally so close to being finished. It practically is finished and I'm getting really excited about ordering my Chinese water dragon and actually getting my Chinese water dragon. So I'm going to take you on a tour of that enclosure and show you exactly what it looks like. It looks pretty different from my last video. I have done a lot of work on it. And just keep in mind that although I have done a lot of research, I have never had a Chinese water dragon. So if you have any suggestions, if you do know Chinese water dragons and want to tell me something that I need to change or something that I still need to add, please let me know in the comments below. If you're watching this video when it was just posted, of course, if you're watching it later, I may have already made those changes. And also keep in mind that I haven't actually ordered the Chinese water dragon yet so I don't have a day that it's coming so I still have a lot of time to make adjustments and changes and figure out exactly how the enclosure is going to be before I put the Chinese water dragon in there. For the most part I do think it's really well done and I think that the Chinese water dragon will really enjoy it but I'm always open to suggestions and always learning. So I do live in Canada and this is Sugar here. She just crawled on my lap. But, um, what was I saying? I do live in Canada and I have contacted some three different com Canadian companies that do sell Chinese water dragons. I'm still waiting to hear back from these companies because I asked them some questions about the Chinese water dragons that they do have available. Two out of the three have the Chinese water dragons listed as available on their website. The third one says that they do sell them, but they don't currently have any. So I just kind of asked questions about what their enclosure is like now, if I could see pictures of the exact ones that they have available, if I can request a male or a female, and what age their dragons are right now and also what they have been feeding their dragons. If you are in Canada and know of anywhere else, also let me know in the comments and maybe I can contact them as well. I haven't heard back from anyone. It's been only about two days. So let's just get into the tour of the enclosure. So here's the enclosure. The length from this end to that end is 6 feet and then 5 feet and 2 feet wide. So I'll just walk you through it all. Start at the top. I have the um, basking light and the UV light. So those are just on the top. And then I open the door. This is what it looks like. I do plan on putting some moss or rocks on top of here to cover the soil. And the same with that one there. And the large one on the bottom. And then this part here, I do have it with a red light just because that was a light that I had. I'm not sure if I'm going to be keeping it, but that's what it is right now. And this is the water. I don't have it completely full. I just have a very little bit of water in there just to see if um, the filter would work. I'm going to be putting a sponge filter in there, but right now the water is just circulating through that um, little fountain thing. 
so obviously there'll be a lot more water in there and then on this end I do have some plants those are pothos and I'm hoping that eventually they will grow up on the back here and just cover the back and the red light is really good for plant growth and leaf growth so I'm just using that right now and I will be covering the ground with similar rocks to those large flat rocks so I'm still getting more of those rocks just to cover the surface I'll show you what this looks like in here with the door off. So it's a little bit hard to see with the red light, but these are the flat rocks that I will be getting more of. And I have the pothos growing in here, and they actually seem to be doing pretty well. They're just clippings, so I wasn't sure how well they would be doing, but they've been in here for about a week or so, and I do think that they have a little bit of growth. And then this one, I'm not sure what exactly or where I'll be putting him but I will be covering the top with either rocks or moss or um, something else, these ones too, just so it's not too fine, fine dirt. So be sure to be on the lookout for my video of the unboxing of the Chinese dragon and placing him or her into the enclosure when I do finally get it. I will definitely be making a video about it. And thanks for watching this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.